Okay, let's talk about calculus. And what we're going to do here is not going to be that difficult. Matter of fact, it's going to be downright easy. And if you have basic, uh, uh, some basic knowledge of algebra, you'll, I think you'll really appreciate this problem. And you're going to see how easy calculus actually is. Now, I'm not saying the entire subject of calculus is easy. No, there's definitely some advanced things in calculus. But if you stick with me for a couple minutes, you'll gain an appreciation of how um, awesome calculus is and how it can solve all sorts of problems. So let's take a look at this uh, problem here. And we have this yellow curve, okay, and it's described as uh, y equals x squared. That's a parabola. Then we have this blue line. Okay, now this blue line is uh, something called a tangent line. And if you just notice, it looks like it's just touching that yellow curve or that parabola at one specific point. Okay, so that is basically the definition of a tangent line. It's just touching at this one point, and that's where uh, x is equal to 2. So what I'm interested is, I want to know, interested in, is how to find the slope of this line, given this information. Okay, so here is a line. Of course, we could describe that line as y equals mx plus b. And I want to know, what is the slope of this line right here? Well, we have everything we need. Okay, we know the, um, the function or the equation to this parabola. I know the point I'm interested in, okay, which is uh, x is equal to 2. All I need to know is some basic calculus. So again, if you haven't uh, taken calculus, you're going to see exactly how easy uh, calculus can be to solve a problem like this. So I'm going to get into this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if, uh, you know, if you've had a tough time in math, maybe several years you've uh, failed a couple math courses, listen, I'm here to tell you that doesn't mean that you're bad at math. Matter of fact, I haven't known any bad, bad math students, okay? I don't think they really exist. If you have the desire, okay, to learn math, what you need is the right instruction, okay? So I've been teaching math for decades. I really like to teach things in super clear and understandable ways so uh, anyone can learn math. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, in terms of mathematics, I can help you out. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you prepare and pass those exams if you homeschool, you absolutely must check out all my homeschool uh, courses and full curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. But if you want great grades of math, you have to learn how to take great math notes. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Now, by the way, if you think you know uh, the slope, if you feel like you can... Um, you know, do this problem. Maybe you know some basic calculus. Go ahead and put that uh, answer into the comment section. But here's the thing, too. If you are a calculus student, maybe you're a professor and you're just like, let me see how this guy's going to teach. I'm teaching this in a very non-technical way, so please uh, don't uh, beat me up too bad in a comment section if I miss you know, a, lot, a lot of technical details. Right? The whole point of this problem is just to kind of take it easy and uh, solve this problem here with some basic calculus. Okay, so here we go. So here is our problem. Again, I want to know the slope of this line, right? So that would be M or the slope. Now, again, I'm um, assuming that you have some basic algebra knowledge, but the slope is a number that just describes, uh, let's just go ahead and define it here. It's the rise over the run, okay? And it describes the angle or the steepness of this particular line, okay? Now, how many points do you think we would need to uh, even uh, plot a line? Well, typically, you're going to need like two points, like a point here and another point right there. And then I could kind of like draw a line. So given two points, I can find the slope of this line. But I need two points to do that, to be able to determine uh, the angle. So this problem, if you really think about it, is kind of crazy because we're trying to determine the slope of this line with just one single point okay and that's why we call this a tangent line okay so tangent uh, when you hear this word tangent or tangent line it's referring to a line that just touches at that one single point so it's pretty interesting if you think about it uh, like how are we going to find the angle of a line just given one point well we need some calculus so what we're going to have to do is take our 
function or e our equation for this curve right here, so our parabola is being described by this uh, equation, y equals x squared, or this function. Now, if I find something called the first derivative, all right, and in calculus we write that as dy dx or y prime, so I could take this right here, we're going to find something called y prime. It's called the first derivative. And the first derivative is awesome because it's basically will tell us the slope of any point I want along this curve, or any curve for that matter, okay? So it's going to be an equation of the slope, okay? And I could be like, okay, just take the first derivative. It will tell me the slope of any point I would like along this curve. And then specifically, I'm going to um, uh, determine what the slope is when x is equal to 2, okay? So what we're going to be doing is finding the first derivative, which is a huge part of uh, calculus, okay? So this, we call this differentiation. That's kind of the fancy term. So what we have to do specifically is find the first derivative of this equation or this function, okay? So that's the mechanics of what we're gonna be doing. And you're gonna see how easy that is right now. Okay, so let's get to it. So here is our problem. We wanna find the slope of this line. So here is our uh, function, our equation of this parabola, y equals uh, x squared. So how do we find the first derivative? Well, I'm gonna show you everything right here. So let's pay attention uh, to this problem at this point. So here is, uh, again, our equation of our uh, curve or uh, the parabola that we're dealing with. So y equals x squared. So the notation for the first derivative is something called y prime. I could write it this way, or I could write it this way, dy, dx. These are uh, equivalent. You'll see um, pretty much both of these notations used, okay? So we're gonna be finding a y prime or dy, dx, which is the first derivative of this function. So how do I do this? Well, let's take a look right here. We have x, y equals x squared. So let me just do this right here, x to the second power. So when we find the first derivative, we take this two, okay, this exponent right there, we multiply by the number in front of the x. So what's in front of that x squared? It's just one, okay? So we have x squared, y equals one x squared technically. So this is gonna be two times one, which of course is what? Two. So we put the answer there, and then we're gonna put an x, and then right here, whatever this power is, it's gonna be two minus one. We're just gonna drop the power down one uh, by one. So two minus one is what? It's going to be just one, okay? So that uh, two to the x first is just, or two to the x to the first power is just two to the x. So let me just uh, show you that one more time. So here is our power. We multiply it by what's in front of the x, which is a one, okay? So two times one is two. And then I take that two and drop it down by one. So that's two to the first. And of course we don't write uh, variables like two to the first, we just write it as like two, or two x to the first, excuse me. So we just write it as two x, which means two x to the first. Okay, so that's all I did. So from go to uh, from our equation or our function to the first derivative, it was as simple as that. Okay, now I have a formula, okay, to find the slope anywhere along the curve, right? So the slope of a line anywhere along the curve is equal to two x. X. So what does this mean exactly? Well, let's go ahead and actually put this into application. So this tangent line, remember uh, we have a line like y equals mx plus b. That's the equation of a straight line. So what we're interested in, in is the, the slope, okay? Well, this m, all right, is equal to 2x. But the point that I'm interested in is where x, this x right here now, uh, when it's equal to two, let's go back to our problem, okay? So here's the x-axis, and right here we have one, and here is two. So if you look up right here, I wanna know what the slope of this line is where x is equal to two, okay? So all I have to do is plug in a two for this x right there. So that'd be two times two, which of course is four. So the slope is four, okay? So the slope of this line right here uh, is four or or four over one. Okay, this is the rise, this is the uh, uh, run. Now this uh, particular 
um, sketch here is a drawn perfectly to scale, but basically the line of the, this line rises uh, four for every one it uh, runs out. Okay, that is the slope of this line, and uh, that is it. Okay, if you knew how to do this, well, let me go ahead and congratulate you with a nice go ahead. And let me, well, I gotta think about. I usually give flat tops or mohawks. I think I'm in the mood to give a nice 1982. Uh, mohawk haircut. Okay, I grew up in Southern California, and believe me, all those crazy movies you've seen way back in the good old days were pretty true. So 1982, excellent year. Let me give you an A plus and a 100%. So very good uh, for understanding or knowing some basic calculus in advance of this. Maybe you took calculus like 30 years ago, and you're like, let me see if I remember this stuff. Whatever the case might be, if you uh, got this right, excellent. But uh, really, if you didn't even know. Uh, about calculus or the first derivative, you know, in advance of this video. That's really who I'm kind of targeting uh, in this particular video. And if you find, find this interesting, like, well, that wasn't that hard. Okay, I actually understood this. Well, that is what really what my objective was, is to show you that calculus can be pretty easy and it's very, very powerful. So if you enjoyed this video or even liked it to some small degree, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube uh, channel, uh, please uh, consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math all the way to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.